Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I am Ayotunde Balogun. Coming up on the program, the Nigerian Navy builds a war college in River State, South South Nigeria. Kwara State launches phase one of its mass transport scheme. An event take an ugly turn at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Luke. The acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, has arrived in Calabar, the Cross River State capital, for an official visit. Professor Oshibajo was received at the Margaret Ekbo International Airport by the Cross River State Governor, Professor Ben Ayade, from where they proceeded to the Palace of the Obong of Calabar. While in the state capital, Professor Oshibajo will be commissioning some state initiated infrastructure projects. The Chief of Defense Staff has commissioned the Naval War College in River State, South South Nigeria. Built by the Nigerian Navy, the facility is part of efforts of by the armed forces to improve the capacity of its officers and men alongside operational structures to meet the country's security challenges. Our correspondent Emmanuel Array reports. The Chief of Defense Staff inspecting a guard of honor. is here with the Chief of Naval Staff, Senior Army and Naval Officers, and other security chiefs to commission the new Naval War College in Obima, River State, a facility that is now to serve as the number one college for top-ranking officers. Cutting of tape by Defense Chief. And then a tour of the facility. In giving practical vent to this, the Navy has relentlessly engaged in massive overhaul of operational support structure, intervening decisive in such core areas as fleet recapitalization, responsive medical cover, and unprecedented boost to training infrastructure, as exemplified by this immediate finished product before us. Protecting the nation's territorial borders is top priority for the Nigerian military. So is the training of its officers and men. The naval chief is elated to finally open a facility it describes as a milestone for the Navy. For now, it will be the highest ranking uh, naval training institution. Uh, the school is, of, of course, like I said earlier, uh, meant to develop uh, in commanders, you know, operational as well as strategic leadership uh, 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 qualities uh, to enable them address um, uh, emerging challenges and also to be serve as um, problem solvers for the Nigerian Navy. With the security challenges faced by Nigerians on a daily basis, a well-trained and motivated armed forces is seen as the key to dealing with the issues. Imanol Iray, Channels Television News. As part of an effort to alleviate commuters' frustrations, the Kwara State Government has launched Phase 1 of its bus mass transit scheme for routes in Ilori, the state capital. Now, the buses were purchased through a credit facility worth 267 million naira. It's another busy day in Ilori, the Kwara State capital, north central Nigeria. Once again, commuters wait anxiously, oftentimes endlessly, for buses or taxis to get to their destinations. And with the increase in population, the resources to commute seem grossly inadequate. But all this is about to change with the purchase of buses to ply various routes in the state capital. It's the first phase of the Kwara State Transport Scheme to reduce the frustrations faced by commuters. <laughs> Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed cuts the tape. 
signaling the commencement of a scheme that will support the existing transportation system and make it easier for comers to thrive. This scheme upscales the existing transport scheme, which involves motorcycles, taxis, and many buses by introducing higher capacity mass transit buses. With this scheme, intra and intercity transportation will now be more available, affordable, and efficient. As the name implies, Megida Solidar or Mass Transit Scheme is designed to ease the hardship faced by the populace, especially students, workers, and other commuters who are often stranded for hours, particularly during peak hours. The buses were bought by the state government for use by members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers at a cost of 267 million naira. We appreciate your excellency and we assure you we will cooperate and use this vehicle judiciously. Other transport unions hope the second phase will be more inclusive. We want to help you to consider road transport employers of Nigeria during the second phase of the project. We are part of this government and therefore we are partners in progress. In the coming months, the government has promised that more money will be pumped into the transportation system to put more buses on other routes within and outside the state capital. And this time it's off to a new good state where Governor Ifai Uguayi is asking traders in the state to get involved in the government empowerment scheme in order to boost their businesses. Governor Uguayi was speaking during the fourth phase of the program held in Agbani Market in Kano West local government area of the state. He said the scheme is in line with his campaign promises to boost economic activities for the people. The Enugu State Governor Ifan Yugwai is in Agbani Market in Kano local government area for an empowerment program. The empowerment scheme worth about 60 million naira is initiated by the state government as a mode of investment in the traders in the state. The winner is One hundred winners are expected to emerge from 37 select markets across the three senatorial zones and will be going home with at least 50,000 naira each. Winners of the lottery are expected to reinvest the money into their various businesses and help promote all around economic growth in the state. You can attest to the physical and social economic transformation that the state is currently undergoing, owing to the high level of peace and security in the state, and the massive road and other infrastructural projects that the government has carried out and is still carrying out in all parts of the state. This scheme, therefore, offers traders in the Enugu East Senatorial Zone the opportunity to be actively and beneficially involved in this new socio-economic environment. And from this market, they are given their checks, one after the other. I pray that this governor, eh, in fact, I don't know what to say, but I pray that God will help him in everything that he's doing, and God will protect him as he's going, as he's coming back. One woman I interviewed last week, she was trading on tomatoes, a petty trader. She used to buy two, two baskets every week. But now she can afford five baskets in a week. These are one of the successes we want to document of the program. At least 700 traders are expected to be empowered through this scheme, which the state government says is part of their campaign promises to boost the state's economy before the end of the year. Yeah.